So we are going to make a basic horn using the loft command. So here I'm going to start a new part. Okay. Uh, so first thing is to start a 2D sketch. Uh, we need to create the general path of the horn. So I'm going to do that here on the XY plane. And I'm going to use the uh, spline tool. Uh, and actually, I'm going to place points first. So I've got a point here at the center. Uh, here's another point. Here's another point. And uh, generally, the more points you have, the more um, control you have over the shape of the horn. OK, and then I'm going to use the spline tool here to connect them to each of these points. OK, and done. Okay, so here is my spline, and then you see I can adjust the shape of this however I want. I can make it come back if I wanted. There, that seems good. Okay, so the next thing is I need to place some planes there and click again. And place planes that are. go. I'm going to place another one there. And I don't need one here at the last point. You'll see why, because I want my curves. So you see I've got four points. So now it's time to do a sketch on each of these. So here is I'm going to place a circle right here at the center. Now we'll make it about that big. Okay, You can always adjust the size later. Finish the sketch. Then I'm going to start a new sketch on the next plane. And make sure you start it at the origin. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. You can always adjust that late, the size later. Two more to go. Start a new sketch there. And hit it at the origin. There we go. Finish that. And last sketch. Circle there right here at the origin. There we go. OK, so I've got my circles here. OK. And now it's time to loft. So I'm going to do loft. Click on that one, the next one next one, the next one, and then finally the last point. Notice they all kind of come together. Output should be solid along guardrails. There you go. And there is your horn. Okay, You can adjust the size. Uh, if you go back and adjust the sketch here, right? it'll change the curvature of the horn. You can adjust the size of the horn here by going back and editing the individual sketches with the circles. So say I wanted that to uh, up here to be a little bit smaller. Edit that sketch. And I could dimension that to be, say, 0.15. There we go. So it pinches up. Notice this pinches down a little bit more. OK, that's a basic look.